Well, we talk about this tap structure. And uh, for those of you that know the Football Association, of course, we like an acronym. So TAP stands for Technical, Analytical, Physical and Psychological. There are a number of um, potential performance models that you can find out in the ether of the internet that might work for you. And if you've currently got a performance kind of framework that works for you, please don't change it because of something I'm showing you now. This is something that when we talk about training and education of um, sort of ambitious referees in 2021, there's not a lot of what we do that you can't attach to one of these pillars. So when we talk about technical, we're talking about analysing decisions, match clips, match incidents. We're talking about your knowledge of the laws of the game. We're talking about anything that refines performance. Later on in the session, in 10 minutes time, we'll look at some match incidents on dog so decisions. We can classify that as technical performance. That would sort of hit that kind of red pillar there, that technical pillar of refining your performance from looking at a clip Maybe it's your own clip. Maybe it's a decision from another referee. That doesn't mean that we can't learn from the practice that we see. Why is the analytical pillar so key as a referee that wants to progress and improve? Well, our coaches, by way of a rule, don't do anything by way of a view, an opinion, some thoughts on performance until the referee themselves has gone through a period of post-match reflection. Now, post-match reflection can be a very, very personal thing. So what we encourage is for it to be personal. If you need to write things down, you can write things down. If you need to chat things through, you chat things through. So we don't have too uh, rigid process on self-evaluation, self-reflection. It's whatever works for the referee. But what we do instill is the importance of doing it. Undertaking a thorough, detailed and comprehensive post-match reflection of what did I do well? What could we do differently? What can we do better next time in simple terms? It's about working with coaches and studying improvement. You can all appreciate that perhaps in the current climate of where we are with this pandemic, you know, it's been a tough time for referees. It's been a tough time for everybody. But one thing that I've kind of said to many of the referees that we work with who haven't refereed for a, you know, a long, long time, don't neglect the opportunity of watching other levels of football. There are other levels of football that, of course, are still operating, have still operated throughout the pandemic. And there's so much opportunity for self-improvement where you study the performance, the decision making, the positioning, the movement, the player management of some of our best match officials in this country. We move on to the third tier here, which is a physical pillar. Refereeing we see as, uh, as a sport. And I always kind of talk about no athlete will go to the Olympic Games this summer, having not spent at least the last four years of their life practicing whatever they're going to compete in, whether that be the 100 meter sprint, whether it be the javelin, whether it be a swimming event, they will have practiced, practiced, practiced and practiced again. And I'm a big believer that we should see refereeing as a sport and the fact that you can practice refereeing. We will run a series of pre-season training camps for our referees within the FA core program during July and August, where we will mock out certain referee scenarios so that you can practice them ready for the new season. The physical pillar is also about your own fitness levels, your own training regimes, your own physique, your own composition, what you're putting into your body in terms of fuel, what you're not putting into your body, when to fuel, when not to fuel, how to rest, how to recover, what are your sleep patterns? Because the need to be an athlete now as an aspirational referee has never, ever been greater. And the fourth and final pillar is a psychological corner, that mental resilience, being able to park whatever distractions might be occurring in your life away from refereeing and concentrating on making decisions come match day, remaining focused, keeping strong in the face of adversity. Refereeing is one of those vocations right the way through the structure from the very bottom through to refereeing on the Champions League where we're under pressure. How do we deal with pressure? How does our body respond to pressure? But also how does our mind respond to pressure? And we're currently working with a number of experts from other organisations, from universities, from other sports and other clubs to support our referees with that whole psychological uh, mindset piece that's so important in the modern day game.
So I thought tonight it was really um, not only a good opportunity, but important for me to share how we kind of structure our training. But with that rider that actually this is only something that the FA adopt. If there's something out there that works for you, that's been successful or you're taking from another sport, you're taking from a colleague, you're taking from another organisation and it's working for you, please continue. But I think what is important is to have a mindset, to have a structure about your refereeing if, of course, you want to progress and get to the very top levels or indeed just want to improve week upon week.